Thanks to our friends at Bridgestone. Every Aaron's episode, we highlight saints in the community. Bridgestone is focused on creating equitable access and opportunity through sport because leveling the playing field is what really matters. Oh, we'd like to thank our friends at Bridgestone Tires for sponsoring our errands in the community series. Now in this episode, we're gonna highlight a saint, to be honest, has been called a lot of names the past few years. Wide receiver, tight end. And Juwan. Juwan Johnson, how are you? I'm good, man, how are you? Can we run some errands? Absolutely. Juwan Johnson is used to taking on new challenges. All right, you've done a lot of interviews. You ever done one like this? Oh man, it's been, well, no, I've never done one like this. <laughs> <laughs> a new setting for Juwan where we talk his new position and his upcoming new role as a father. This airs in the community episode, the perfect warm up to being a girl dad. How about Juwan Johnson leading an NFL flag football camp with several New Orleans up and coming stars? This camp included a chalk talk Q&A session followed by a variety of drills inside the Saints complex. It's clear these young ladies brought their collective A games. Nice move. Well, Juwan, we've done a lot of these community events. Where are you taking it? Yeah, yeah, so I'm taking it to the Saints facility. Okay. Uh, thanks, Bridgestones, for sponsoring all of this. <laughs> uh, we just yeah. are so appreciative, but we're here to um, uplift some girls. Uh, and obviously to empower them, uh, give them the tools so they can go out to the world and uh, be world changers. And this is a flag football event. Yes. Are you good at flag football? Yes, I yeah. am elite at flag football. <laughs> Juwan's recent contract with the Saints wasn't because of his flag football prowess. It was because of his tackle football play. We're in his second full season with the Saints. He successfully adapted into an elite tight end. If somebody would have told you three years ago that in three years, you're gonna be playing tight end for the New Orleans Saints, Man. and you're gonna lead the team in touchdown receptions, Man. what would you have told them? I would have told me crazy. <laughs> I would have said, one, who who said I was playing tight end? <laughs> like, I feel like that was the biggest thing. I know I was a bigger receiver, but no uh, chance I thought I'd be playing tight end, man. And honestly, it's, it's through people who actually invested in me that thinks I was gonna be, you know, even okay at being tight end. Those same people knew for Johnson to be successful, he had to bulk up. All right, so the instructions were gain 15 pounds. You're yes. in New Orleans. Yep. You're already winning in that Definitely. regard in terms of food. Definitely. What specific foods helped you Definitely. get that target? Uh, a lot of burgers. We're going to do a lot of burgers, <laughs> a lot of steak, okay. and one of my favorites is Chinese food. Oh, really? I love Chinese food. Wow. Asian food is one of my favorite foods on the planet. Food and football are a priority for Juwan, but number one for this Saints tight end is his family, where he and his wife Shannon are comfortable letting us all in. Their behind the scenes TikTok videos have made them internet sensations with over 3 million followers. She, this is something that she always wanted to do, but didn't take it serious. She didn't think it could happen. Okay. I took the initiative of posting because during COVID, nothing's right. really happening. Right. Everybody needs to be inside. Yeah. Uh, and so I make a post and she's like, oh, Oh, that's really good. And so from there, she like took over. All right, we're, we're growing this Aaron series, so maybe uh, she could give us a little plug on TikTok. Can I, can I subtly ask you for can, that? You can definitely give her a plug because she's definitely all in. I need her to give us a plug though. <laughs> she is definitely all in on helping out. Future videos will undoubtedly feature the couple's newest addition as Juwan and his wife are expecting a baby girl this summer. I know you probably want your daughter to do whatever she wants, but Definitely. your wife is athletic, you're obviously athletic. Yes. If athletics is something she wants to pursue, yes. this could be a sneak preview. Yes, definitely. And uh, I'm going to put my daughter in everything because I'm going to pick and choose what she wants, <laughs> you know, in life. You know, yeah. she can do anything, be a right. doctor, be a, you know, a scientist or, you know, a soccer player, whatever the case may be. All right. I see the Saints complex here. Yeah. Big event. Uh, how excited are you? I'm so excited. Yeah. You know, things like this where I get to interact with people is like my favorite thing. I love interacting. And so I can't wait to see the smiles on their face. So we can have fun. Coach Juwan Johnson. Maybe Coach, your debut here. Coach Juwan Johnson. Why does giving back to the community, why does that matter to you? Yeah, uh, I just feel like it means so much. You know, people love to see people who are an influence to the city to give back. Um, they want to see that. Uh, it helps them out to not only feel like the city is important, but also feel like that they're important.
Everybody's excited. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it, man. Okay, the great thing about these events, the surprise element. This is Austin with the Saints. Can you kind of brief him on what to expect here? So what we have tonight is we have close to 30 girls that play NFL flag, all just within the New Orleans market area. So this is like what Father is about to be like with you, man. But look, as close as we are trying to get, you know, the hype that's around flag and how it's inclusive to everybody, this is an opportunity for these girls to play the sport that you play that you're probably going to be able to teach your daughter someday. Uh, no, I'm excited about it. Good. I'm excited to teach these girls a little something, something about some ball. Give it up for number 83, Juwan Johnson! Do you guys feel like you can do things better than boys? I, I couldn't hear you. Do you think you can guys can do something better than boys? <laughs> you, you guys are going to be going against each other, having fun against each other, competing and things like that. And that's what's going to happen in the workspace. And so someone who hasn't done what you guys have done is going to be behind. You guys are already ahead. Yeah, I got tackled. What, you clapping for me because I got tackled? <laughs> I think you guys are poking at the bubble. And honestly, you guys are about to burst the bubble of inclusion with women and male being in the same work field. And you guys give yourselves a hand. You guys, are, you know. Um, it's going to be so big for you guys, and I want to and I want to say about time. My daughter is your guys' age. She has something to look forward to because you guys have created uh, a space for her and many other girls who are going to be uh, coming of age in that. So I appreciate you guys for you know to keep doing what you're doing. You're going to be outnumbered at home soon, so that was good training. I know, I know, but I am excited. I'm very eager. Absolutely, absolutely. Very eager. Well, you got a little more in here, so I'm yeah. excited about this I know. second part of the I know. Uh, community event. Are you ready? Let's do it. All right, let's, let's do, do it. it. All right, here we go. Yeah. You spent some time out here as a player, now you're going to be a coach. I have, yeah. He's giving me uh, Dennis Allen, Sean Payton kind of vibes right now. <laughs> so I'm excited. It's high knees. You got to get them high, like real high. Who did them better, me or you? You're here with the Saints practice, practicing with the Saints player. How are you feeling about all this? Um, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> Exciting though too, right? Yeah, because yeah. this is like, like once in a while. Let's catch this ball. Being around everything today, what is the best part of this? Meeting the football. Oh! No, I'm, I'm going another group. Right. Trying to figure out which one isn't paying attention. Put our hands around like this, because we dancing, we having a good time. Ooh. <laughs> How great is this? Your daughter gets to practice with the Saints, practice with the Saints player. How much fun is it watching them? Oh, I love it. I love seeing my daughter play, and uh, I actually coached for one of my sons, and I'll be coaching for her hopefully as well. Here, here, here. Mom, how excited was your daughter for this? <laughs> oh gosh, she has been just so excited and couldn't wait, and uh, we've been so excited for her. Go! Oh, nice catch. Okay. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do that. This is great for you guys, okay? Hopefully this is empowers you to keep playing the game of football. Let's give it up for Jawan. He's a great guy. Girl power. One, two, three. Coach Johnson, cone drills, agility drills, a little bit of everything. You see how the other half lives, don't you? Definitely. I mean, this is this is my life. This is what I do. <laughs> this is exactly all the things I do. But the cone, I mean, you can just take that home as well. A little souvenir, huh? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let it. I'll let it. I'll let the Saints handle that. Next time we see you, you'll be playing. But nice job, Coach Johnson. Oh, thank Thanks you, for running errands with us. Appreciate that. Thank all you. Right. This episode of Aaron's in the Community sponsored by Bridgetone, solutions for your journey. Thank you, Bridgetone!